Hi, this is Albena from Bulgarian Mom is Cooking and in today's video I'm going to show you something really simple, very easy and delicious to make at home. I'm going to show you how to make cheese filo dough muffins. So if this sounds good, then keep on watching. Dear friends, before we go further with this video, I would love to ask you to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and if you want to get notifications from YouTube every time when I post a new video, hit the bell on too. And without further ado, let's get into it. So this recipe is super easy and quick. In a medium mixing bowl, I'm gonna put about a cup of homemade yogurt, but the one from the store will work as well. And then I'm going to activate baking soda in it. And that should happen about 20 seconds after you mix the yogurt and the soda. The soda will activate and you will see uh, a lot of bubbles all over the yogurt. And then I'm gonna add about six eggs. Now here you can do three or you can do four or you can do two. It really, really depends on um, how many eggs you want in your muffins, but I wouldn't advise you to put more than six eggs. Just a tablespoon of ricotta cheese goes into the mixture. If you want, you can skip that step or you can add more or you, you can add cottage cheese, for example. But I honestly think that ricotta works really well for this recipe then. I'm gonna give everything a good stir and the next thing that I'm gonna add to my mixture is this beautiful feta cheese. It's Bulgarian feta cheese that you can find from ethnic stores around um, and it's definitely cheaper so I advise you to go ahead and take a look there. And here I have some Bulgarian cheese that is very similar to the mozzarella cheese that you can find in Kroger and stores like that. And the next thing that I'm gonna take care of is the filo dough. Now I have this rolled filo dough. I'm gonna unpack it and then I'm gonna roll it again just like so tightly and it does not have to be perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and thinly slice it. You definitely need a good knife right here that is sharp. <laughs> also, the thinner the slices, the better. So I'm done with the filo dough, moving it to a big plate and then I'm gonna lift it just like so because I wanna untangle it wherever it's tangled. <laughs> and be careful here because you don't wanna break the filo dough but even if you do, it's not a big deal so don't worry about it. If it happens, it happens. And then I'm combining the filo dough and the mixture and I'm doing the very same motion in here as well. And I have my muffin tray and my muffin liners ready to go. And then I'm using an ice cream scoop to divide the mixture evenly between the muffin cavities. Now, I got about 19 muffins out of this mixture, but depending on how much you actually fill the cavities with, and I did fill them all the way through, um, you will get between 19 and 22, 23 muffins. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is add a little bit of butter just a very thin slice of butter on top of each muffin and then in the oven they go for about 30 minutes so because every oven is different i advise you to do the toothpick test and as soon as the toothpick comes out clean then your muffins are ready now look at this beautiful brown golden color and they are so puffy and nice from the inside as well and of course very very delicious That was it for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you go ahead and give this recipe a try, please come back to the video and leave me a comment with your thoughts on it. Till next time, if you wanna see more from Bulgarian Mama is Cooking, I'll leave a special playlist for you right here and a special video for you right here to watch. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye for now.